So this isn't going to be a webinar in which we're just going to show you screenshots or use a lot of canned videos. It's going to be live, so there may be a few little issues that come up along the way, just like in the real world. The main thing that I want to make sure we get across includes some of the issues companies face with documentation, some of the challenges that are going to be made to the way that you work, how did and the software tools are going to cooperate with each other, and then really explore XDocs, how the content's imported to the CMS, checking in, checking out, version control, the DITA FMX plugin, and FrameMaker itself. Let me just take a quick moment to mention the three of us in a bit more detail. Nanad's the Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Bluestream Database Software. He spends his days working with clients to make sure that their content management needs are getting met. Scott's the President of Leximation, which makes the DITA FMX plugin that you'll see today. His day-to-day -day job includes custom plugin development, web application development, and process and workflow analysis and improvement. Lastly, I'm Bernard, and I'm going to be your host and guide today. My job involves legacy file conversion, training, and support work related to working with tools like XDocs, FrameMaker, and technology like DITA. So, before we start, I want to tell you a little bit about the computer that I'm using for the presentation. This is important because I don't want anyone thinking that you need to spend a huge amount of money on a powerhouse to do what I'm going to show you. Yes, there is likely going to be some hardware that you need to configure, and you want to do a technical skills analysis internally to make sure that you have what you need to get going, but once things are set up, it's pretty easy. I'm running a laptop with a modest set of resources. I've got tools preloaded, and I'm using this one machine as the server and as a client that works with the server. There are going to be some odd delays in time on occasion, but generally you'll see that even on a slow machine, this stuff works well. I also want to mention the lower resolution. I don't think most people use 1024 by 768, but that's what I'm set up with for the webinar. This might force me to do a lot of toggling for specific objects. It's not a shortfall of the products, but rather a byproduct of me playing down the video on this screen. I've also pre-launched applications to make things a bit faster, but if I close them and it takes a moment to relaunch, please bear with me.